Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Gemini. Welcome back, Gems. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Gems. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much, So Tribe, for your love and support. And welcome back to my subscribers. Thank you so much as well, loves, for your comments and your feedback. And welcome, Gems, to the ones that are new here. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. Definitely, if today is coming to fulfill your spirit, don't forget to subscribe as well. We would love to have you here, Gems, a part of our soul family. And come and check us out for when I go live on this channel as well. All right, be sure to adjust your notification bell. I do also go live for love live stream questions as well. All right, so no further ado, Gems, let's go ahead and dive into your general reading today, okay? But first, going to start with the Soul Lessons Journey deck here. All right, we're going to see for the month of July, Gemini, what is your soul lesson, all right, for this month, okay? And then we'll dive into some tarot to clarify, and then we'll close out to see who is in your energy and why, all right? What do we have for Gemini placements here for the month of July? What is Gemini's soul lesson for the month of July when it comes to their love life? What do they need to know when it comes to their relationships, their connections? What do they need to know? Grief. All right. This is like the Five of Cups in the traditional tarot deck, which talks about um, grieving, of course, or feeling like some type of loss. Um, also, having some type of regrets or some type of disappointments. Okay. Okay. So when grieving for your lesson, Gemini, is to understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it, okay? Um, rather, if this was a person, a place, or a thing, and my condolences, if this was someone that you lost, okay? Um, if this was a person or a relationship here that you may have find yourself grieving over, Okay, um, understand for your soul lessons journey for this month of July is that there is an opportunity to also appreciate what you have lost. Okay, rather if it was a person, a place, or a thing. Okay, wow. So let's now dive into the tarot here. Okay, let's see here how this is all playing out when it comes to your relationships and your connections here for grief. Okay. Understanding that if you just broken up with someone or if you just had separated from someone not too long ago, understanding that that there is also an opportunity to appreciate the next opportunity, you know? Let's see here. What do we have for Gemini when it comes to grief for the soul lessons journey for the month of July when it comes to their love life? What do they need to know? What do Gemini needs to know? Yeah, there is that energy, the Four of Swords. This is your energy, Gemini. Okay, so there is a situation or circumstance here that you have been meditating on. You've been contemplating about this. Uh, again, this could be something that you have been grieving from. All right, some of y'all that recently went through a breakup or your breakup don't have to be recently. You could have broken up with someone a couple of months ago, a year or two ago. Um, healing takes time. So it just depends on where you're at in your life, in your journey, right? But I do see you contemplating or meditating or thinking about something here. Wow. Oh, is this what you're thinking about? All right, this could be a water sign here, a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, or they could even be an air sign like yourself. They could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. Okay, so let's clarify the Four of Swords here. Let's clarify the Four of Swords. You have someone that wants to invest in you. So, oh, so this is what this is. You have a new love offer coming in, 
Okay, this could be from a water sign or an air sign here. Also, we have an earth sign I just seen in a deck that could be a Taurus. But anywho, this is someone that wants to invest in you, okay? Um, and this is why I feel like you're having to contemplate or think about this offer if you're ready. Because some of y'all, you're still grieving. Some of y'all, you're still needing to grieve. OK, when it comes to your soul lessons and that could be the lesson, because sometimes some find themselves getting right out of a relationship and not making the time or had the time to heal and evolve and go right into a new relationship. You know what I'm saying? And bring those same problems and issues or, you know, conflicts into the next relationship without giving that new person a fair chance to heal. You know what I'm saying? So make sure for your soul lessons journey that you make sure that you find time to grieve, Gemini, and get things out, okay? If this is someone that wants to be with you, they'll be patient and wait. You know what I'm saying? So don't rush into a new relationship, Gemini, without closing the chapter and the door and grieving and getting out the emotions and feelings and whatever conflicts out first, okay? Because I see you contemplating and thinking about this offer that's coming in. This could be someone that you've already met, that you have been dating and getting to know here, okay? Clarify so the Four of Swords. Why do we have the Four of Swords here? Yeah, look at that, the Four of Wands. This talks about a relationship, a union coming together. And this is wonderful. This is good news. I'm happy for you. I just want to make sure that this is something that's going to last, okay? Something that's going to be worth waiting for is something that's worth having. You know what I'm saying? Something that you rush into could be ending. The quicker you got in it, the quicker it could be ending. You know what I'm saying? Clarify the Two of Cups. Why do we have the Two of Cups here for Gemini? Why do we got the Two of Cups for Gems? The Seven of Wands. Okay. Yeah, I see you protecting your space and energy. I see you defending yourself. So that is good. I do see you speaking up here as well about what has happened or what has transpired in your past here. Oh, we have the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I see what's going on here. This person that's coming in is someone from your past. Okay, they again could be an air sign like yourself. This could be Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini here, okay? Or they could also be a fire sign with the seven of ones and the four of ones. This person here could be a Sagittarius, your opposite zodiac sign, a Leo, or an Aries here, but this is someone that caused you these conflicts that you were in a relationship here with and finding yourself having to grieve over now. So someone here is trying to want to reconcile with you, which is fine and all, but you haven't healed. You're still healing from how this person caused conflicts and hurt you in the past. And this is the part that is conflicting you now about this person because you are still healing and here they come with the message. Okay, here they come with the message. And this is a page. So this is someone here that still has to do some learning themselves. This is not a king. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure whatever choices that they made in this relationship with you, um, you are also recognizing this as well, that this person may wasn't too much on my frequency vibration. You know, this is someone that still has to learn uh, how to approach and be in a relationship here. And I feel like some of you all are way past evolved from that vibration. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now the next we have coming up is a knight. Okay. And from the knight, you have the king. And from the king, you have the emperor. So I feel like some of y'all are recognized the type of persons that you may even chosen to be with that this person could have been younger than you. You know what I'm saying? Or just they could have been an, a whole adult, but still had a young mind um, personality and ways of doing things, you know, still kind of, of course, being immature when it comes to their choices and their decisions that they made here, I feel like, you know, and I feel like that is what caused the conflicts in this relationship between you two. And this is where you were left with it, grieving. 
which is okay because the grieving is going to allow you to see, okay, what type of relationship you were in, what type of person that you were with, who were you in that relationship. It's going to allow you to evaluate and reflect on all of that. So moving forward in your new relationship, you now will know what to look out for and what to expect, right? Wow. So let's now close out and see what this person here wants to say, because we do got communication here, Gemini, coming in from this person from your past here, okay? What would this person like to say here? What would this person like to say here to Gemini? Wow, Gems, if the reading is resonating for you so far, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if this is your first time here. All right. And if you would love to book a personal reading to kind of see what's next or what's the potential outcome for you and this person or just what's next in love for you, my email details are down below, Gems, in the description box. All right. Wow, we have, I'm taking my time with you, okay? And I even feel like this person had to learn a thing or two as well. You know what I'm saying? For them now knowing that they have to take their time, maybe this relationship was rushed. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this person is now realizing that. And then we have, I believe you, okay? Wow, so this person who wants you to know that they believe you now, you may have told this person some things about themselves and they maybe could have denied these things about themselves. Um, and they may could have had their ego in a way, who knows? And I feel like this person here may could have avoided something that you maybe tried to warn them about or tell them as necessary or how you felt, okay? And wow, you always have someone watching you. <laughs> okay, Jims, this person is definitely watching you. Um, they are definitely keeping tabs on you. They could be watching your social media here. But I feel like because you decided to separate your energy, you decided to pull back, you haven't gave this person an answer. You haven't gave this person a response. And they're here watching. They're here observing you. Yep, we got haters want me, but I want you. So I kind of felt like as well that others were involved here, okay? Because we had multiple people in this picture here. There could also be outside influences here that may try to cause inconvenience for you in this relationship. You could have had people that was jealous. You could have had an exer that was jealous, okay? But there was definitely others that may have tried to intervene in this relationship here as well, okay? And that could have been one of the issues as well, right? Oh, wow. This is what we have for you, Gems. This is your general love reading here. And this is also your July reading for the month of July and your lesson for the month of July as far as grieving and when and when to take the time out to grieve and understand that losing something is an opportunity to gain and learn and evolve and appreciate it. All right. I love you, Gems. I hope this helped, gave you some clarity, some insight, and most importantly, confirmation for what you maybe was already intuitively picking up there. Again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, share, share this message, Jim, with who you know the reading today may resonate for. And definitely come and check us out on Patreon for more content, Gems. All right. I love you. Bye-bye.